Mackenzie, come come up here, Mackenzie, and join me if you would. No. Because. Do you want me to come up? I here? want you to come sit here because. You you went through a long stint. Mackenzie, I stayed in, in Chicago for too long. I don't want to be locked up. I don't. This is because not you locked go, up. It is, though. You go away, and they take away everything from you, and you get used to it, and they tell you when to wake up, when to f when to eat. What to, I can do that, OK? I can't do it when you ask me to do it on my own. I hear you. You know, I've been to treatment 11 times. I, I mean, this is not something that happens overnight. I hear you. I hear your frustration. I hear your resistance. I'd like to invite you into the world of possibility where you can actually have an opportunity to get some real deep work done where you can actually walk free. Walk free. Because, look, I once went to treatment and I was there for nine months, dude. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nine months. Okay? And walking out of there back into my life was one of the hardest things I ever did, and I don't know how I stayed sober, but I managed to. But what we do at Breathe is very different. We sort of have a step-down program that reintroduces you to more freedom and more things that you can do and more time for yourself, where it, it really makes the transition back into normal life pretty seamless. It's, it's a kinder, gentler way to do this kind of thing. And we have such a great team and we have so much fun over there and we get a lot of really cool work done. You came here today for a reason, didn't you? Because deep down you knew that you couldn't do this on your own. This is different. This isn't the same thing. You've made progress. You have addressed a lot of some of, some of the physical issues when you were on our stage a year ago, I was afraid that you would die at any moment because of how frail you were and the damage that your body had been through. So you've made progress. You've made, and, that's, and that was one, where you were then, that was different. You, you have, you've taken a, yeah, maybe you took a step back, but you've taken a lot of steps forward. So this is different. We're not asking you to go back to where you were last December. That wouldn't be appropriate because you've come so far. I don't want to be sitting around in a facility where I can't go to work and school and the things that like give me that purpose. Like a treatment doesn't give me a purpose. It's not a reason to wake up in the morning. I need to build a social life. I need to fill, fulfill the things that this eating disorder and addiction have stripped me from that you're not going to get from being in a facility. So no one's going to force you to do anything you don't want to do, but you're continuing to struggle with your eating addiction. You're continuing to use cocaine. You have relapsed. Yes. And so, as much as you do not want to get this help, this is, this is that last step for you that you need. And I know you want to move on, and, and Brandon's going to help you get a dog, but you got to do this first. Sorry.